All right, get ready for this one. Not one, but two mm. failing scores at one local restaurant. Yeah, here's Don Dare sharing more about the critical health violations in this week's Food for Thought. The restaurant with a failing score provides takeout and offers a casual food dining experience. The inspector checked off more than a dozen violations in the report. The grade, a 63 at China Lee and Middlebrook Pike. That 63 is a failing score. A grade of 69 and below is considered failing. There's been a follow-up in that passing score in just a moment. First off, the inspector observed kitchen workers failing to wash their hands properly. One worker was seen preparing raw meat that's filled with bacteria. Then he started preparing food. Another worker was observed drinking from an open container and forgetting to wash his hands before he started preparing food. A large plastic tub with raw chicken in it and no lid was stored under the three compartment sink where dirty pots and pans are cleaned. The tub of raw chicken should have been in the walk-in cooler. The inspector found no date marks on any ready-to-eat food in the refrigerator. Marking down the date of first use is required to assure the wholesomeness of food. There's more. The temperature of raw chicken and raw beef stored in the refrigerator at 53 degrees was way too warm. 41 and below is the safe cool temperature to slow bacteria growth. On the other end of the temperature scale, fried chicken was at 80 degrees. The chicken wasn't hot enough. 135 and above is the proper hot temperature. Finally, the inspector writes China Lee lacked managerial control mainly because many of the critical violations in this most recent inspection were repeated from the restaurant's previous inspection just two months ago. Well, the inspector returned to China Lee and Middlebrook Pike. The original critical violations were checked and they were corrected, and the new reinspected grade is a 92. Quite a few area restaurants receive perfect and near-perfect health inspection scores, and here are the best grades of the week. Zaxby's, the one off Millertown Road in Knoxville, 100. KFC on Western Avenue in Knoxville, 100. In Crossville, Wise Eye Sports Bar and Restaurant is perfect. Here's another 100 scored at Hometown Hero Subs on Glades Road in Gatlinburg. In Turkey Creek, the busy Fleming's Primetime Steakhouse on Parkside Drive scores a 99. Same grade for Buddy's Barbecue, the one in Bearden on Kingston Pike. Hannah's Cafe on South Central in Knoxville also scores a 99. And so does Five Guys Burgers and Fries, the one in Alcoa on Hamilton Crossing Drive. Restaurant health inspection reports are supposed to be posted in an area of the restaurant where you can find them and read them. Don Dare covering Food for Thought.